China Square is reopened. <laughs> yeah, what you are show? We used to have each other's playlists. No, no. Used to be each other's best friends, yeah. And now we go our separate pathways, but your heart's still in mine, yeah. And maybe we could try it next week again, but I don't wanna think what's toxic. But who cares? welcome back to my youtube channel it's another day another video and on this video we're going to do our monthly shopping haul so we did this month's shopping and as also you can see china square is reopened Trrr, drum rolls. anyway for those who have not been to china square it's this mall uh, it's this store in uh, uni city mall just next to KU. If you haven't watched those videos that I posted on what you can find in China Square, please go watch them so that you can be able to budget for what you really want. Because that place, if you go without a target, without knowing what you really want, you can end up buying nothing or you can end up buying everything. So it's time you go check out those three videos, see what is there, see the prices, and then when you're going there, you already know what you want so anyway china square is open and we didn't even plan on doing this whole shopping what happened was i was really having a bad day today like since morning the day has been messed up and i think it's because i laughed at my new fans yesterday <laughs> but anyway <laughs> when chop was up like seven zero anyway that's not the whole point i am saying i had a bad day so when i came off work hubby was in town and we decided to go for dinner and then we met up with some friends and we just chilled for a little while on our way home one of the friends like his friend decided he wanted to check something out in china square so we decided to take him and in the process we got ourselves some stuff and yeah so china square is reopened uh and then after china square we went by the supermarket to buy some things that we needed for the restock of this month okay so in this video we're just going to check out what i bought the prices and then you know how the gist of shopping hauls go so let's get down to the video i'm not sure whether to start with the china square or uh, the monthly shopping the china square trust me it's only this bag <laughs> let me be honest with you guys it's only this bag this one has a part of our monthly shopping because so how it went was the guy who was going shopping wanted a bag just for show off so he bought some crepes and then he decided to get a bag and then we bought what we wanted so when we went to the supermarket we were like we're not buying other bags we're going to use one bag for the shopping anyway so yeah let's start the haul and i hope you enjoyed this video okay let me just start with the shopping shopping that we did and then we do the china square uh thing so i'm gonna start with this that is the toiletries of our man uh, so for the toiletries we got um menengai bar soap one bar soap usually take us for at least uh three to four weeks so that's like a month so that will take us for a while and then uh, we had this uh scorer with a sponge uh i don't think i will say the prices do you really guys need the prices i don't even know whether i have the receipt here but yeah so we have these this one is usually very good for superiors and then we bought uh some of this Safisha uh, all-purpose cleaner we usually use one for the bathroom and the others for the utensils so we got uh, a few and then 
kama kawaida the lavender star soft uh, fabric fabric softener usually for baby's clothes most of our clothes we use a downy the sachet ones not star soft and we don't usually buy them in supermarket we buy them in wholesale shops because it's easier it's cheap i mean so the sachet ones they go for longer and then we have a toilet cleaner we say we're no longer brand oriented so this is hurricane it's a toilet cleaner and i don't know i feel like i am rushing through these like we need to do a prize or something. Let me see whether we had. Uh, now, which one is the China Square one? I don't think we got the receipt for this. Anyway, all I know is it's cheaper than it's cheaper than the Happy Coin, and it will take us for a while. It's also lavender scented. We are a purple house, <laughs> and then we have tropical and lavender scented air freshener. Yeah, this one is nice. I usually go for is it Glade or Glade or whatever you call that. I usually go for that one, but they didn't have it in the supermarket, so I went for tropical. But the point is, it's lavender. And then we have sunlight and lavender. If you are an OG of this channel, you know this is the washing powder we use. And she has an offer. We are definitely saving that coin with offers. And then another purple thing, soft care, <laughs> sanitary pads for myself. That is what I usually go for mostly. And then we have some serviettes here. Normally we go for Hanan. But I wanted to try Tiara because I have seen most of my friends who are YouTubers by the way do uh, Tiara. Soviet, so I was like, I need to try this. I need to try this as well. And it was only 78 bob. Yeah, it was really, really cheap. I always got to a premium high class. <laughs> yeah, and then some Hanan wet wipes for baby. And then some clean foil. I went with velvet clean foil. I don't know. I don't usually use this. I use Fay, but they didn't have Fay. So I went with Faye aluminium uh, foil, okay, so yeah, you saw how I was struggling in the other video <laughs> and some more uh, about, uh, whatever, scurrying and then another purple thing, <laughs> we have the blackberry hand wash uh, from Papillion, I think all my cleaning products should at this point be Purple. And then my baby usually use uh, sunlight because he reacted to the Johnson's and Carson's uh, brand soaps. So we usually use a sunlight to bath him. So this will take us at least a month. And then I saw another YouTuber. Her name is Tina Rose, by the way. The Tiara ones, I think I saw them in uh, Wanjikongoge or Jody's channel. I am not sure. Uh, yeah, I think it's Judy. Okay, I will I will confirm that. And then Vim, I had I didn't even know they usually have a sachet one. Uh, I saw it in Tina Lois's channel. And this is what I'm going to refill my container with of the all purpose cleaner. It cleans really well and I love it. Yeah, so this one was going for a hundred bob. And trust me, the container one is fucking beauty. So I'm sure the container one is much more, much more what expensive. And then I changed Colgate to this Max Fresh. I have never used it. I don't even know why I picked this one, but I needed something different. Normally we usually use the Herbal uh, Colgate or the black one, black charcoal. So I went with this one that has mint. And yeah, and then we have morning fresh they didn't have an offer on this one today so yeah we go with morning fresh and i usually prefer this one to the liquid especially if i'm not the one who is using it in the kitchen i feel like it lasts longer than the detergent the detergent takes a very few days and then it's over this is some polish shoe polish for my boys and some nice and lovely cocoa butter lotion 
with shea butter for me. The toiletries we also went with the, the rose extra strong tissue. I told you Habi is obsessed with this pink. Uh, is it red or pink? The red dotted <laughs> tissue. So I'm going with it for now because, well, they're not bad really. And he loves them. So yeah, on to the foodstuffs. I think that is all for the toiletries. Yeah. So for food stuff, these ones are snacks uh, for baby. So we went with go fruit, a mango for the kids, and apple juice for myself and the adults in the house. We don't really take soda, but it has become a really hot season. So I'm gonna add some sodas to this. I just didn't find the ones that come in four packages, packets, like four. Yeah, so we're going for offers all the way. Then some queen cakes for snacking for the babies. And then some sachets for drinking chocolate. We usually buy sachets, kama kawaida, because it's more efficient and cheaper. And then we come and put it here. So this one is always more economical. And then I want to make some yogurt because my small baby was struggling with his appetite like the entire week last week. He started eating just recently. So the whole time he was just taking yogurt. And I felt like buying yogurt is becoming too expensive because it's the only thing he's taking comfortably. And I'm going to use this. I saw Tina Lois at this video is just going to be about you. Anyway, so uh, vanilla and she was using vanilla and, and chocolate, Daima, and the yogurt turned out so thick. So I'm praying and hoping that this turns out as thick. I'm also going to make two. Probably not in this video, probably in the next one. So we're going to use that to make yogurt, at least four, four liters of yogurt. And then we bought some dairy, uh, some dairy based fresh milk for small baby. We usually buy um, milk from the cows, like okay, from the dairy, like we usually buy the one you carry in bottles, but he doesn't like drinking it. So we buy the packet ones for him so these ones will last him a day so every day he takes at least this of these two packets so yeah about a liter of milk if not a liter maybe three quarter like this half in this like this full and this half so he takes a lot of milk in a day and yeah so i feel like let me put some of this behind here so that i can create more space so that we don't mix Mix, mix, mix. Yeah. So we have uh, another package under here. Yeah. If I don't do this video today, I may not have a video for you guys tomorrow. If not tomorrow, like Wednesday. Yeah, today. So I have to do it. Uh, I bought some tomato sauce from Peptang. I love the Zester one, but I don't even know why I picked Peptang this time around. So, yeah, Peptang tomato sauce for my kids. They love taking tomato sauce with uh, their spaghetti, their Indomies, their chipo, basically everything. And then we have Indomies. Indomies for the babies. <laughs> And then we have some sea salt. Finally, we found the Winnie Pure Health sea salt. We have been looking for this salt for a very long time. Normally, we usually buy. <laughs> okay, if you know me, you know I have always had this container, but it's too old. If you can see, because it we we bought it like long time ago. We usually refill it with canned salt. This typical canned salt. Yeah. Okay, I think it's upside down, but this can salt is what we usually put here. But today, we finally found the actual sea salt. And I think this is what we usually will usually be going for. I wish I had the receipt, I would tell you how much that costs. But we don't. And then we have some cocoa. The reason it's this kidogo, we had refilled some of it. 
So there's that cocoa. Then there is some original red plum jam. I like the mixed fruit jam, but my boys eat this one better. So yeah, you have to compromise sometimes. Uh, we didn't buy blue bun because we have been having blue bun. Like this is the original blue band. We haven't even used it for a long time. So this will take us like a month. And then we have the blue band. The blue band uh, for bread and an extra one. So we didn't see any need to add more. And then I added some porridge flour for it for my baby. He no longer takes porridge, but for some reason I can't stop buying flour for porridge because I keep hoping he will uh, lighten up and drink, but he doesn't. So, But it's always good to have some. So this is total Afia, suitable for six months and older. And then this is Famila for baby weaning. It's the same flour I have been using since he was six months old. Don't ask me why I don't change. Probably it's time for me to change since he's already grown. So I usually mix the two of them. And then we have some sugar. We have the cabras. Cabras sugar. We bought three pages. Yeah, so these two pages. This is uh, three, one kg, so mix three. And then we have some oil some fresh fry this is three liters of a fresh fry fresh fry we have about two liters left okay maybe one maybe one of fresh fry from last time and uh, we don't have any here <laughs> so we usually separate the one we are frying things with and the one that we cook with so this one will take us for another like one week then this one will continue from there. So, yeah. We bought some uh, flour. Some maize flour. This is Raha. Raha Kapagara. Kapagara, Kapagara. So we bought a three packs. Uh, we don't usually eat a lot of ugali in this house, but my small baby, as I have said, hasn't been eating well. So he really does not want potatoes in his food. And this is becoming like his only option. He loves ugali. So he we buying more, one pack more. Normally four pack, four. This one takes us for almost close to one month. And this one will take us for a month and some days. And then... Oh, let me push that. I don't know whether you can still see. Then I bought some ajab. Let me put it here. I bought some ajab. I was looking for ajab, the blue, uh, white, all-purpose flower. I didn't find any. So I bought ajab uh, atta, 2 kgs, which we are going to be mixing with XC. This is also wheat flour, all-purpose flour. So if I don't find Ajab, I prefer to use Exi. Sometimes I use Elliot, but yeah. So we're going to mix uh, this atta, this all-purpose and this atta for our chapatis. And then I got 2 kg all-purpose, uh, self-raising flour for our pancakes, our tea scones, maybe even mandazi. But I think I'll get the mandazi one separately, so... Yeah, and that's it for the monthly haul. Okay, I think. <laughs> so, yeah, that is what we're going to be. I think we, I feel like we have all the essentials. For the rice, uh, I don't know, let me show you the rice. We usually get the rice from Moya. I have mentioned that before. the rice, this is how the rice comes. It, it comes like it's already packaged like that and then it is sent as a puzzle and she gets to you so this is pishori from directly from where this is uh i think three or five kgs i don't know i think this is five i don't know i don't know how many kgs this is but i know it will take us for a whole month so and it's really sweet i cooked it last night for the first time and it's really good so yeah that's it for our haul 
Now let's get to China Square. But first of all, I'm gonna put this away. So I don't know whether I'm just being paranoid or the lighting has changed a little bit. I don't know. I've tried adjusting it, but I couldn't find. Anyway, so from the China Square, I just got a few items because I wasn't planning on shopping and it was so impromptu so anyway some these are some of the crisps that guy got uh the biggest salty he got like all flavors of crackles like the green one the red one the yellow one the chocolate one all of them and we ate most of them except for two which we brought for our babies and i didn't even know this one had a vinegar because i'm sure it is not It's not bad, but anyway, yeah, I, he got those and this, so yeah, he's a single guy, by the way, if you want a person, mm, that's not nice, anyway, from China Square, I got this, um, mm, clothes, this, um, versatile dusters, I saw them on June Kiro's channel, if you haven't watched that chick, you should watch her. Her lifestyle is just admirable. I really love her personality, by the way, Pia. So I love the way she does her things, the way she's just so real. So shout out to you, June. Kira, I hope you watch this. So she was uh, talking about how you should stop um, using your clothes, like your kitchen towels, like the women are spoiled. Because we usually use our kitchen towels to wipe our surfaces. So she was talking about these clothes where you buy them and you can use one cloth to wipe the surface and then it will wear out after some time. So yeah, like this one. Yeah. So this is the size of it. Okay. So you use it to wipe all your surfaces and it's easy to clean and you can dispose it off after some time when it wears off. So yeah, so she was saying how it's better to do this and it's more economical than using a whole cloth to wipe your surfaces. So this was going for 120 shillings at China Mall. For her, I had like, she talked about 450. If I'm not wrong, please do. I don't know where you got yours from. I think it was cup four. She was talking about 400, if I'm not wrong, or 300. So this was only 120 shillings. So this is like one for 40 shillings. And there are three of them. So you can use this for an entire month. Like this for two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. So for a month. So I bought this for trial to see whether it's actually um, feasible. If it works really nice, this will become part of my monthly shopping. So yeah. And... Yeah, so that one was going for 120 shillings. Let me see. Mm, yeah, it was going for 120 shillings for three pieces. So I feel like that's a, that's a steal. Like that is totally a steal. And then Habi bought this car vent. This air freshener, I think. I think it's a air freshener or a, yeah. It's, I don't want to open it because I don't even know how it functions. But she was going for, for those who have cars, it goes for 130 shillings, 130 bob. And I can bet it smells really nice and it makes the car smell fresh. And then I bought myself a mouse. I need a mouse uh, for work, for my laptop, because my laptop is touch screen and the touch pad is becoming insensitive. Okay, it requires you to like clean it all so often so that it's sensitive. So instead, I bought this mouse. It's an optical mouse. It's that the guy advised us to buy this one. I wanted a cordless one, but he was like, this one is the best. This one is, um, what? It's a gamer's mouse. <laughs> so it's really fast. It looks kind of gaming. Like, it looks so guyish. The one I wanted was really girly, like the small ones, but hey, it's not, doesn't hurt to try. Then it, it lights up to purple color, like this. So when it's in the laptop, it has a purple color. I love that about it. And yeah, so he said it's really sensitive and it's really nice. So we gave it a try. If it is good, I will let you guys know. Okay, probably not, but I hope it's good. <laughs> and it was going for 400 shillings. 
yeah so i feel like that was good they have a variety of from 400 to 450 yeah and then i hubby also got this wax for shining his car and i think it's expired wait i think it's expired oh but this is not the expiry date oh this is the manufacturing date it says 24th of november 2022 i don't know is i don't know if i tell him he's gonna be like freaking out i think it's expired okay i don't know we are gonna i'm gonna see what he says about it but it's the car works and this was going for 680 shillings so yeah it's for shining the outer surface of the car once you take it to the car wash then it comes back very 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 shiny so i don't know how he did see this but it's written in chinese i can't tell whether it's the date it was manufactured or the day that it expires <laughs> but it has a date there that says 2022 and then i needed a masking tape to glue together my baby's book like you could have a headache you remember the book i don't know whether i showed you that book the one that has animals and alphabets and stuff like that they he just split it apart and i want to fix it i have been obsessing over it so i got myself a masking tape and this tape uh, was going for 50 gold wait oh it was going for 250 gold yeah this big one was going for 250 and I like it in the house. It comes in handy. And then lastly, uh, we bought this bathroom uh, space mat. I don't know the size of it, which is what I want to check. It was going for bathroom mat. Where is you? It was going for 900 bob. I hope it's really worth it. So, oh, it's really tiny. I expected it to be a bit longer, a bit longer. Okay, it's tiny, but it will come in handy until I do a bathroom makeover. My current uh, mat at the bathroom door is not the sexiest. So, I feel like this one is much better than the one that is there. So, we'll put it at the door of the bathroom. Okay, so, yeah. This feels good to the touch it's soft and it is non-sleep so once you put it on the floor it can't sleep so yeah that's all for china hall and then the bag goes for 80 shillings just so that you can floss around with china square logo and do the marketing for them and yeah so that's it for today's video i hope you have enjoyed i hope uh you have liked what you have seen and maybe gotten inspired and reminded of what you don't have in the house and yeah anyway guys i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for always supporting my channel thank you for always being here to watch another of my videos if you are new i know this is the intro that i should have done earlier but my name is alice rito i do family-based content meaning i involve my family a lot in my videos I do some cleaning, I do some cooking, I do days in my life, and a bit of skincare. So if that's your kind of content, kindly consider subscribing. For my returning subscribers, guys, you guys, you're awesome because you always come back to watch another of my videos and just assume they do this out there. Yeah, just assume them. Just assume them, just assume them. Just assume I'm living in the suburbs and you can hear the birds chirping and the whatever things, the breeze. <laughs> yeah, so I was saying if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always supporting my channel. It means a lot. If you give this video a thumbs up, if you leave a comment, it helps you to get recommended to other people. So my channel gets to grow, okay? So if you are from the premier girl, you guys, you family. Thank you for always supporting my channel. Thank you for always being here, sharing out my videos, liking, commenting, and just keeping me going. You guys, you're awesome, and I love you so much, and I appreciate you for being part of this journey. Otherwise, have a nice day, and then I see you in my next video. Bye.